Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Well, and my human is here. So, uh, this tutorial is gonna have 10 steps, 10 videos to follow, and I'll try my best to make it as efficient as possible. Short in time, a lot of useful information. Uh, these steps are the exact way of my practicing of this piece, where everything is done simply, 100% correctly, layer by layer, with no mistakes to correct. This whole practicing might seem to be a bit complicated at first, but in the end, if you master it on one piece, it's gonna take less and less time to go through all the steps uh, with other pieces. And eventually this, this way of practice will become the simplest and the most efficient way to learn any piece as you can finish pieces within just a week. Well, <coughs> it depends on the... Uh, <laughs> difficult level of every piece, but something like this piece really uh, for me is just really nothing. I basically can finish it, go through all the steps within just a couple of hours. Um, so the first step we're gonna talk about today is imagining and playing separate in both hands and uh, timber with movement. You would always want to start off with writing down fingering and position chain notes uh, for elbow movements in the score. And for this tutorial, uh, they are already written in my edited score in the description below. So the task here is simple. Imagine right hand, left hand, both hands, in timbre of soprano voice or cellos, <coughs> in this particular nocturne, with movement and glissando in between notes, I'll talk about this later, and play with correct wrist and elbow movements. This is the basic requirement for touch and tone control and also for applying internal singing later on. So some people left some nice comments for my video uh, about my delicate touch and that's how you develop it because basically my hand just express what I imagine in my mind and usually when students play they don't have a real good quality sound in their mind, that's why their touch is not really um, intelligent, I would say. So you can watch my playlist titled The Piano Bell Program to know and study this principle thoroughly. Now for those of you who still struggle with this task, uh, here is a simple guide to follow. So basically, I'm gonna break it down in a simple exercise that average pianist, average level, let's say, intermediate, advanced, uh, could possibly follow. All right, so uh, we're gonna start with, well, a um, little prelude. So, a little prelude for imagination. So first of all, we need to understand uh, which timbres we're gonna use for each hand. So as I said before, I'm going to use soprano in my right hand and uh, cellos in my left hand. Now the sound movement that is absolutely necessary for imagining sound and for a wrist movement that follows the pattern of imagination has uh, certain rules. So you need to compare a note with the previous note. If the note is higher than previous note, then movement to the right. G is higher than B, then G is to the right. F is lower than G, then F is to the left. To, to the left. So if the note is lower than previous note, then the movement is to the left. Uh, the same notes in a row have the same direction of the very first note. Now imagination part. Um, uh, first, just try to imagine every note separately, one at a time. Remind yourself the pitch by playing it. Feel the movement of the sound. By singing it, again, the first note could be at your choice, could be left to the right, because there is no uh, previous note before this first note. And for the timbre, listen to the uh, vocal example. I'll put the link in the description below. Recall the general sound of timbre and imagine uh, this particular note 
in this beautiful voice with movement to the right. After that, go to the next note, G, play, you can sing in your comfortable octave. Listen to the timbre, imagine note in the timbre with movement. Do this with separate hands and well, if you have sometimes in soprano double notes, like over here, don't try to imagine two notes together right away. Take for example the top note, that's enough for, for you. <laughs> Just top note in the melody. Now imagine note in the line with glissando. So now we're going through uh, from imagining separate notes to imagining the line uh, and sequentially. And um, for this again, you could just try to sing with glissando. And uh, for those of you who might struggle with singing the clear pitch, I suggest you to simply play along <laughs> with your singing so you won't have this problem. Now, the way you sing glissando, the glissando is basically this way. When one note from D, we from C, to reach E. <laughs> so we're going and we're gonna blend one note into another during the way, just like colors in the rainbow bla uh, are blending very um, gently with no uh, sharp edges. So we're going Take your breath Take your break, um, don't exhaust yourself trying to sing the whole line in one breath. And again, after you sing, it's gonna be much, much easier to imagine it. So listen again, the timbre of the vocal voice to remind yourself the texture. And now, without touching the keys, try to imagine every note in this timbre with movement, with glissando, just like you sung. Um, on one line. Something like this. <laughs> so these skills again take some time to develop. Uh, the next step would be imagining and playing. So what you could do is you can uh, first try to play uh, without volume. If you have a digital piano, uh, Put it down if you have a um, upright piano. Just close it and play on the lead of uh, of the piano. So it will sound something like this. If I imagine the first note with movement, then I gently touch the key, and the way I imagine my movement in my mind, I do the same with my wrist. So I would move my wrist to the right this way. Again, everything you're gonna do, you're gonna make without any tension in hand. I mean it. And I have created so many videos about importance, the importance of playing with relaxed hands, because it is very important. <laughs> First of all, you can injure yourself if you, for example, do something like this, and you keep tension in your hand, and you believe that this tension will help you to control the tone. And second of all, when you tense your hand, it prevents actually your, the energy of your imagined sound uh, reaching your fingertips. <laughs> because it's all about this. You imagine, you feel it in your mind, you feel it on your fingertip. So keeping your hand relaxed to, to let the energy flow through your muscles is very important. So you imagine sound, you touch it, you move your wrist. Okay, and after that, you need to imagine glissando to the next note. Then you imagine next note, you touch it, you move the wrist the same way you imagine the sound. Then you go to the next note, imagine glissando, play it, move your wrist. 
Now, uh, special attention to the elbow movements that I wrote in this core. This is how we go. When you see the circle note, you move your wrist, you play the note, you move your wrist, and then you move your elbow. That's the order. Play the note, move your wrist, move your elbow. So in this case, D sharp, we're gonna move elbow to the left because we are going down, that's why we're moving elbow to the left. For example, in the left hand, uh, this B circle, so when you would touch the B, you would move your elbow to the right because we're going higher. And when you're going here, you're gonna move your elbow to the left because we're going lower. So after you play this way, right hand, then you can uh, make the volume up again, and then you do the same, but now you also hear the outcome, and while hearing outcome, you need to imagine next note, so it's kind of overlaying here, so it could be a bit more challenging. So it looks like this. I said in this double notes, just imagine the top note. Of course, I do imagine everything, but for you it's like this. After this, you do the same with the left hand, all the steps that I just shown you. Every note, one by one, pitch, sing, listen to the timbre, imagine. Pitch, sing, listen to the timbre, imagine. Pitch, sing. Then try to imagine it. I'm not sure you can sing it though. <laughs> but try to imagine it with glissando. All cellos go with glissando. And then play it again without sound first. Very precisely. And then with sound. you have to do fast even if you play slow it doesn't mean that you have to move your elbow slow <laughs> you have to move it quickly and to prepare to prepare fast your position so I'm not gonna play I'm gonna talk about uh, polyphonic ear now how you combine the notes and then I will play for you just to show you the result so after you've done separate lines, top note in the melody, accompaniment in the left hand, you're now going to combine <laughs> those notes. And again, you want to start with one uh, vertical line at a time. So here we go. Now this is our first interval. So now when we get to this interval, don't try to imagine two notes at the same time. You will not succeed with this. Start imagining sequentially. Now if bo both notes, let's say, are to the right, you will start imagining from the no lower note to the top note. If both notes with movement to the left, you will start imagining first top note, then uh, lower note. If notes have different direction, then first you would imagine the note that goes to the left, and second that goes to the right. So what you would do in your imagination, you would imagine first this note, then this note, then faster. And that's what you need to do with every single line. <laughs> um, so. F to the left, E to the left, faster. Can you imagine this? D to the left, F to the left, okay? After this, try to make the whole line. <laughs> so again, take some bars and simply uh, um, imagine notes together with glissando. Shouldn't be a problem. Imagine cellos, soprano, and one, keep imagining soprano, 
You imagine cello to here. Soprano cello, cello, soprano cello, <laughs> soprano cello. This way. Uh, and on the last step, again, you're gonna try to play. Suggest you again without sound. Always control yourself. Imagine now first. Imagine we sound to the next note played. Imagine we sound to the next play note play. <laughs> Imagine we sound to the interval played. Just like this. With correct wrist and elbow movement. So now I'm gonna play for you uh, how it looks like basically when I'm making the very first step. So my fingering are written in the score, my circle notes are on the position change notes, my circles are on the position change notes. So now without any tension, just like a good robot, I'm gonna <laughs> imagine notes and make beautiful wrist elbow movements. So it would look this way. I can really tell you what is going on when I am in between notes I already have the sound somewhere here in my fingers and that's how I will control my touch something like this. Now about the elbow movement, I think there is one part like over here. So it's uh, very simple to play if you just move your elbow first to prepare D, then you play D, then you move your elbow to the right to prepare F. But <laughs> just explaining that elbow movement helps you to play helps you play big leaps in fast tempos with ease and uh, comfort. So to complete this step, it might take one day or one month. <laughs> it really depends on your abilities to imagine notes. <coughs> but you can always start and try. All right, so let's go to the next step. <laughs> 